Hey friends, this is Nirmal from NirmalTV.com and in this video we will have a quick look at the new data science feature on Windows Phone 8. So data science uh, uh, as the name indicates uh, is an app uh, or rather a feature on Windows Phone uh, which allows you to track the data usage on your uh, Windows Phone. Uh, so it will help you to conserve the cellular data uh, by monitoring your phone's uh, data usage uh, when you are connected to 3G or 4G network and then it will allow you to skip some uh, certain tasks which require high data usage and the wait for a Wi-Fi connection. So we will have a quick look at the features. So let's uh, take the data sense up. So it's there in the start screen and you can see the data sense in action now. So right now I have the uh, main screen, the overview screen. So it shows me the last 30 days of uh, data usage. Uh, it's, uh, it includes uh, cellular as well as Wi-Fi usage. So right now my cellular usage is uh, 6.59 GB and Wi-Fi is 5.94 GB. So now you have the option to set a data limit and the data sense will keep you on track. So this means uh, say you are on a 5 GB data plan, a monthly data plan. So you can set the limit as 5 GB and then uh, once the limit is reached, uh, phone won't allow you to phone won't allow any apps or any other services to use the data unless you manually um, uh, manually set it so that is a pretty uh, useful feature so now when you swipe you will see the usage usage for past 30 days uh, right now my highest usage is internet sharing then app downloads uh, streaming media internet explorer etc 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 so those uh, depend upon uh, your usage now once you come back, you can uh, okay, once you go back to data sense. Okay. Now you can see set limit option. So I can uh, so data limit. So limit type, you can specify the type. One time, monthly, unlimited. So let me set a monthly limit. So now uh, monthly limit has to be reset on a particular date. You can set the date. Say so let's uh, reset it on uh, 28th of every month now next is uh, on the rebalance uh, limit so that means I'll set uh, 5 5 GB so we have a uh, resolved data limit okay so monthly is uh, 5 GB asset so and you can also set the um, uh, units for the DB so right now I can see your, um, your monthly limit by 5.2 GB so let me just uh, uh, change the limit to say 10 GB okay, so so here is the details uh, this, fe this feature finds more efficient ways to use cellular data and displays your usage for example uh, some data will download only when you connect it to Wi-Fi so current data limit is uh, I mean now I set MB so now let's set uh, GB it's okay. so now let's set uh, the data limit 10 GB resets on uh, day 28th of each month now okay now we'll come back and uh, see the data limit so so it will tell me you, you have 4.79 GB remaining of the 10 GB your limit will reset in uh, 12 days and you can come back to usage again once again and to see the data usage on your phone. So then uh, there is this one more feature uh, where you can restrict um, background data. Mm, say right now uh, you are you are approaching the monthly limit and uh, you have uh, uh, so many apps installed like Twitter, Facebook, uh, emails. Those apps uh, are uh, set to update uh, automatically on the background. So what happens is uh, this app might take your data uh, even if it is uh, at a lower level. So I mean data usage is at uh, nearing the monthly limit. So what happens is these uh, apps automatically take up data and uh, you will never know once you have reached the limit. So what we can do is restrict the background data when I am near the limit. So once you check this option, what happens is uh, you need to manually update uh, these apps uh, to uh, I mean uh, if you are using Twitter or Facebook you have to manually refresh it to get the latest updates and even if it is email you have to refresh the email app to get fetch the new, new emails 
so what happens is um, uh, automatic updates are uh, uh, automatic refreshing or, or automatic background data uh, is restricted uh, when I have switched on this feature so you can see when data sense restrict uh, background data uh, it's been time will display this icon so we have a details uh, learn more option which will uh, take you to the details um, uh, this will reduce data by sending URLs to data sense service it will also help browsing to browsing history to microservice and grouping services etc etc so so that's it uh, then when uh, so once you turn this on uh, you can save data further and very useful once you are uh, when you are on a uh, limited data plan say monthly limited data plan and you don't have a Wi-Fi connection so once uh, this connects to Wi-Fi uh, all these uh, apps will uh, start automatically updating itself so again a very useful feature to have so that's all in uh, data sense so this is very very useful or uh, if you are on a limited data plan on your mobile phone and this helps to restrict your uh, data usage uh, uh, from the cellular network although there is no restriction on the Wi-Fi so you can easily when you, whenever you are connected to Wi-Fi network it will automatically download data so you don't have to worry about uh, the day apps updating itself so this uh, data sense works uh, with cellular network and you can also track uh, your monthly cellular usage uh, using this uh, app so overall a very good app uh, uh, this uh, app uh, this service this uh, f function is uh, now available with the uh, uh, Amber update rolled out by Nokia and it should be available for uh, other phones with the GDR2 update from Microsoft so this feature is uh, pretty useful uh, for um, your phone uh, to track your monthly usage so that's all guys uh, thanks for watching the video and if you have any comments uh, or questions uh, do drop it in uh, comment section so thanks for watching